guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about a new release. Uh, I finally uh, had the opportunity to get my nose on this perfume right here. I talked about this in one of my other um, new release for 2020 perfume videos. Uh, this is Narciso Ombre, their newest release, of course. And yeah, so I've been testing this for the past few days. I have the sample right here. Um, you can only do so much with 0.8 of a mil, which is how much was in here, which <laughs> isn't a lot to test with, but you know, I did my best with it. Um, so this is basically just my first impressions of Narciso Ombre. I have the dry down on my hand here and I just sprayed the strip with the opening of it. Okay, so you know what? Before that, I'm just going to get into the notes for the people uh, that in, uh, prefer that I mention the notes. So the top notes are white flowers, frangipani, and ylang ylang. In the mid, there's musk and amber, and base notes are cedar, vanilla, and cashmere. In. Okay, so the first time I smelled this, the first time I tested this, um, you, I smell immediately the signature Narciso Rodriguez musk, which I'm pretty sure many of you are already familiar with. So you smell that musk, but with this musk you get this um, very soft and elegant touch to it. It's kind of like they took that musk and they really, really softened it up with powdery notes and some creamy sweet flowers. In here I can't really tell um, which but I know that frangipani sometimes smells a little bit like a creamy lotion. Um, I get that in the opening of this. So Narciso Rodriguez signature musk plus like powdery um, like a like literal makeup powder, a compact of powder that the, the kind that you have in your bag um, plus this creamy um, lotiony kind of scent. It's very, very nice, you guys. I will say that when I first sprayed this, it did remind me of Narciso Poudre, which is also a beautiful fragrance from this collection. They're not exactly the same, but it does have like that softness about it, that soft, airy elegance about it. Actually, a lot of Narciso Rodriguez perfumes um, have that. So that's the opening. As this fragrance dries down, more of the powdery notes come out on my skin. It doesn't smell like baby powder though, it like literally smells like um, makeup powder, almost like as if you were to open up your makeup bag and you had your powder in there. Maybe if even if the powder um, broke and then you had all the powder bits inside your makeup bag, that's what um, I get on my skin in the dry down on this one. I still get this beautiful sweetness coming from vanilla in the base, um, adding more sweetness to this powdery, compact makeup bag smell. And from beginning to end, I definitely get the signature beautiful, sweet musk um, from this, uh, you know, you know, their, their regular musk that they use. Uh, I do like this one, you guys, a lot. I wish I had the Poudre version so that I can um, compare the two. Uh, I won't say they're exactly the same, but just from my memory, they're, they're quite similar. They have the similar vibe going on, but this is gorgeous, you guys. I found, I literally find everything from this house gorgeous, everything that I've tried. So I did kind of expect that I would like this one too, and it turns out that I do. <laughs> so the bottle here, that's what it looks like. It also has like this almost um, the shade of what powder looks like. There seems to be this trend where um, companies are releasing like nude colored bottles and then there's like the Chloe Nomad that has a nude color tint to it. There's um, La Nuit Trésor. Trésor La Nuit Nude also has that, uh, that color. And then there's this one. So there seems to be maybe it's a trendy thing for this coming year. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I I like this. I think that many of you also will, especially if you guys are already fans of Narciso Rodriguez. And I know that 
many of you are. There's a few of you that don't like Narciso perfumes. Um, maybe it's like a love it or hate it thing, but um, I, I think this is fantastic, you guys. Good for everyday wear. Um, it smells expensive to me. It smells like I, I if I were to wear this, I kind of need to be dressed up. I'm not sure if this is something I'd wear in my pajamas like I am right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is great. Definitely worth a test. I like it. First impressions, thumbs up for sure. And um, that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick review on Narciso Ambre. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back with more videos soon. Take care. Bye-bye.